Hey everybody, it's Zach. Uh, I'm here in Winona Lake at Light Rail Cafe for our weekly CSA pickup. Um, I just brought some vegetables uh, to the kitchen here uh, for actually for the farm sandwich that they run here. I just gave Joel some turnips and some broccoli. Um, so make sure you check that out this week. But uh, now Joel and I are hanging out in the kitchen and he is going to show us a dish that he's put together um, using our carrots, among other things, but he's going to actually use the whole carrot, both the root and the top. So I'm going to turn this around and uh, Joel the dish. All right, take it away, Joel. All right, hey, everybody. So we just got in these great carrots from Hoffman's Farm. Um, and you may or may not know, with a lot of the root vegetables you get, you can actually eat the whole vegetable. So we're going to kind of show you guys how to store them really quick and then just give you an idea or two of what you can do with the tops. That way, you don't have to be wasteful at all. So once you get these, it's really important. You want to go ahead and remove the tops on these. You can just kind of pinch them off, or you can cut them off with the knife. And then you want to store these separately um, with any kind of like leafy greens like this. We like to store them in just like a really lightly damp, cool, wet paper towel. Um, you can just wrap them up, store them in a ziploc, store them in Tupperware, whatever you want. Um, but if you leave these on the carrots, they'll pull the moisture out of the carrots. So make sure you take these off when you get them. And then what we're going to do with them today is we're going to, uh, we have some roasted carrots and a roast beef that we've been slow cooking for about 10 hours now. And we're going to plate it with a pesto. So just a really simple pesto. So we're going to take the carrot tops and we're going to remove the smaller leaves off, leaving kind of the big stems. And we're going to put them into a food processor with kind of equal parts basil. So the basil is what's going to make it the pesto. Um, you could also make like a chimichurri sauce and use more of like a flat leaf parsley or uh, cilantro if you wanted to kind of get some different flavors that way. So we're going to equal parts with our carrot tops and our herb of choice. So we've got some toasted almonds that we're going to add to this. Um, you can do that in the oven at like 300 for a couple minutes or just on the stove top. About two cloves of garlic, a pinch of salt and pepper. And then I like to put a really nice and hearty cheese into it. We're gonna use some feta today. Um, Parmesan is also really popular. Uh, blue cheese would make a pretty awesome pesto if you want to. We're gonna put in some of our feta. And then just a little bit of lemon juice, and that helps keep the color and gives it a little bit of acidity uh, when you bite into it. We're going to put the top on to our food processor, and we're going to um, slowly drizzle in some olive oil, which is called emulsification. It's just going to kind of help hold everything and suspend it and give it kind of that airy, fluffy texture. And this can be done to kind of your preference. So if you want more chunky, less oily, just add a little bit less oil. If you want something nice and creamy and smooth, add a little bit more oil. You can just kind of pulse it and check it, and if you like the texture, you can turn it off. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Just going to get it going. everything down a couple times you may get some stuff on the edge so what you're gonna end up then with is a nice pulse mix we're just gonna take this and use it for the base of our dish today so I'm gonna put a big drop right into our plate spread it out a little bit take these nice carrots that we roasted earlier. How'd you roast those carrots? So these we did with just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. And we put them in our pizza oven, but you could also um, grill them on the grill for a really nice flavor. Mm -hmm. You could steam them if you want something a little bit lighter and healthier as well. Um, really whatever kind of method you prefer. For roasting, do you want a, like a high heat? Or what? What do you recommend? Uh, you really you can you can do it whatever temp you want. If you do mm -hmm. high heat and go quicker, you're gonna get a little bit more crunch. If you go low temp for a long time, you're gonna get a softer product. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, it just kind of is always a preference on what you like. Mm -hmm. right? And then 
as well. We just got some of this roast beef. We're just going to add right on our dish. And there you have a whole plate dish using the whole carrot. And that's your knife. There you are. Hey, thanks, Joel. All right, so thanks again to Joel. Uh, I'm hoping that I can hang out and um, eat a little bit of this. Yeah, but uh, so you know, if you want to get your hands on some of these carrots, um, we are going to be on the farm uh, tomorrow night during pizza night with our vegetable stand and CSA set up. And then on Saturday, we'll be at the Fort Wayne Farmer's Market on Bar Street from 9 to 1. If you try this dish out, make sure you let us know. Uh, if you want some of our veggies and don't want to cook them, make sure you come over here to Light Rail Cafe try the farm sandwich out. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time.